So the way that I came up with this film was actually super random. I mean, um, I was just sitting in my kitchen one day and I noticed that the lighting in my kitchen was pretty damn cool. Like the way the sun was hitting, you know, the kitchen and i was like damn we should uh, i should make a i should make something on this like a short film or something like that and that's how it all started knowing myself to a certain extent i know that i'm really shitty with ideas like I, it takes me forever to come up with an idea for a script or anything like that and so i hit up my actor friend pavel who is amazing i love you pavel um he's single by the way ladies if you want to get at him he loves anime and uh he loves anime. I think that's that's really all you need to know about him because he really does love anime. But he's a great uh, he's a great friend. Um, but yeah, he helped me come up with the script. Now, when it came to filming, that was one of the hardest things because we were using mainly natural light. And if you're using natural light, you have a limited time of how you can get your shots, right? And we had like a 20 to 30 minute window. The only external light we had was an LED light that was on my face. It didn't even make a big difference. Like I don't even know why I used it. I just had it there. Before the actual shoot, I took a bunch of test shots just to figure out the right settings and the right kind of vibe that I want. Crew, the only crew that I had was my brother and myself. And my brother has no experience in film. And I just told him, you know, where to hold the camera and stuff like that and he kind of got the hang of it he did a great job um so i was happy with that the first time that we shot this film we ended up overexposing all the shots like it looked great on camera i was looking at it you know after each take but then i took it to the monitor on my computer and everything was overexposed like i don't know why and i don't know if it's my camera or not like maybe it shows it brighter than it really is or darker in this case we planned another day to shoot right and then on the second day of shooting clouds came in it just ruined the light and so then we went again and shot all the shots again on the third try and oh my god it could not have gotten better guys there is a smoke in california it's weird to say this but i was kind of happy for the fires for my film because the smoke from the fires made um my film look more cinematic because the smoke that was you know around the sun the rays that were coming in they had a more orange look to it it looked way more cinematic and i was so happy that the first two tries failed like completely like i was like oh my god it could not have gone better now for the audio um that was pretty easy to do because uh, we just had a lapel mic the boya m1 that i have right now actually and i attached it to my phone with the Rode recording app and uh, that app is really dope guys, it's lit. Like it's, it's really easy to use and uh, Rode just made an amazing app. For the Foley, uh, we used a Rode Micro uh, connected to the Zoom H6 and that turned out really good too. I didn't use too much Foley, but for the little Foley that I did, it came in pretty handy. And for the voiceover, we used the SM7B microphone, that great podcasting mic, voiceover, whatever you want to do, we use that. And this wouldn't have been possible with my friend Mosin. Um, if you want to check out his creative agency, like he's, he makes really cool creative stuff, you know, videos, weddings and all that. He let me borrow all this equipment and without him, it would not have been possible. Oh, and then for the camera, uh, we use the Sony a6500, which I'm filming on right now with the 16 millimeter 1.4. Now what's pretty cool is I use this prime lens as a zoom lens. And the way I did that was I used the, um, the clear image zoom in the camera and in the lens or whatever and it zooms in up to twice its uh, focal length without reducing the quality or it's very minimal the quality that's reduced but yeah guys that's how we shot the film um, there's a lot of work but i'm so happy with how it turned out if you guys haven't seen it please check it out really appreciate it leave a like